in Colossians 3.13. It says, Forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you. So, you must also forgive. When you're having difficulty forgiving others, how do you feel? Well, you feel pretty bad. You probably feel weighed down by the burden of hurt feelings, the burden of resentment. There's an old saying, you can drink a cup of poison and hope that the other person will die, and that's unforgiveness. Who's it really hurt? Hurts you. Now, put yourself in their place. Do these people feel the same way? Probably not. They may not even be aware that they have done something to you. And therefore, the poison is in you. It is time to stop hurting ourselves. Unforgiveness is self-abuse. If your feelings are feelings of hurt, the only way to change those feelings is to forgive. Now the human mind tells us from our lower self, hold on, keep this memory, but it is like holding on and keeping the poison inside of us. But the power of forgiveness is outstanding. It is in fact healing, healing deep in our soul. When we forgive, we allow God to love through us, and nothing can withstand the healing power of God's love. Its benefits are absolutely amazing. As we forgive, we open our hearts to God's love, and we bask in the divine light and the divine understanding. We're blessed because God's love has healed us. When you have forgiven and you walk past that hurt and that dismay, you're a new creature in Christ. And why not, especially if you've been wronged, why re-wrong yourself every day by holding on to that? Let go and let God inside of you heal you at depth.